Hi there. Today I'm going to show you a simple formula to calculate the day of the week that Christmas Day falls on in any year. And we all know, well happily we all know that Christmas Day is always on the 25th of December. But the day of the week uh, varies from year to year. And it could be a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, or any day right through to, to uh, Saturday. Would be the day of the week that uh, Christmas Day falls on. So first of all, I'll show you how to uh, calculate um, the day of the week Christmas Day falls on for the 25th of December 2018. And now your first step is take that date and you, you pick up this five different sections. One, two and three. So we use the 25, the 12, and the 18 in the in the calculation, and also we use the 20, and we use the 18 again in the calculation. And I guess the great thing about this formula is uh, you use all the numbers from um, from the date to work out what day of the week Christmas Day falls on. So okay, so I'll write down the uh, the steps there. So there's one, two, three, four, and five steps and that's all based on those uh, parts of the date. Okay the first three steps are pretty easy so you pick up the uh, 25 and we're going to add up these uh, five numbers so I'll put that over there on the right hand side and the second one is we pick up the 12 25th of the 12th 25 12 and then the third step, step was we pick up the year which is the 18. And the fourth and the fifth step is we um, we use the 20 and then again the 18 to uh, calculate a number to be used in this uh, final sum. And both the 20 and the 18, uh, we divide those numbers by 4. And 20 divided by 4, 4 fives are 20, so that's uh, 5.0 is the answer. And I'll do the 18 on my calculator. 18 divided by 4 is 4.5. So write that there, 4.5. And once we've got those numbers, what we do is uh, we pick up for the the uh, the fourth section, we pick up everything after the decimal point, so the point zero. And for the fifth section, we just pick up the whole number, so everything before the decimal point and we use that 4. And so with that 4, that's the easy part, we just shuffle that 4 over and put the whole number over here in our calculation. And for the uh, for the next part, we pick up the point 0 there and we multiply that by minus 8. And anything that you multiply, point 0 is the same as 0. Anything you multiply by 0 is got to be 0. So I put 0 there over in our calculation, in our sum, and we'll get those five numbers there, and we will add those uh, five numbers together. So get out my trusty calculator, and 25 plus uh, 12 plus 18 plus 0 plus 4 equals 59. Okay, so with the uh, 59 as our answer, the sixth step then is to uh, divide the 59 by 7 and find out what the remainder is. So, um, so 59 divided by 7, put that in my trusty calculator, 59 divided by 7. And the answer there is uh, in a 8.428. So, um, I'll write that down, just write the 4-2 I suppose. We're not really interested in um, anything after the decimal point, so we're just interested in the 8. So I'll put the 8 over there. And multiply that by 7, 8 7s are 56. And then um, start off with the 59 and take away 56. And then our remainder then is 3. So, and then 
Once we know the answer is 3, that's our final answer, we look at this uh, a simple table. And if the answer is 1, it would be a Sunday. 2 would be a Monday. 3, it would be a Tuesday. So there we go, third day of the week is a Tuesday. So, yeah, so there we go. So, uh, Tuesday, so the 25th of December 2018 is uh, going to fall on a Tuesday. And what I'll do now is I'll do the, the calculation again, but using a different year, so you can see how it works um, with a different year. So this time I'm going to jump forward 150 years, and I'm going to do the 25th of December, 2,168. So there we go, one, pick up our five parts, one, two, three, four, and five, and then I'll write down here, one, two, three, four, and five, and I'll put six in there as well. So we're ready for it. And once again, we pick up the 25 and the 12. And this time for three, the year is 68. So we pick up 68 over here in our, in our sum. And then uh, we just need to split up the year into 21 and 68, part four and part five. Once again, we divide both of those numbers by four. And I'll use that to do my calculator for, for those ones. So 21 divided by 4 is 5.25. And 68 divided by 4 is 17.0 by that one. Okay, so we've got 5.25. Uh, we're interested in just in the 0.25. From this one and we're interested in the whole number here which is 17 so we'll transfer the 17 across to the uh, calculation and the 0.25 we need to multiply that by minus 8 so do that on the calculator so 0 0.25 times 8 minus equals minus 2 yeah minus 2 and then with those five numbers, we'll add them up. And what have we got? 25 plus 12 plus 68 minus 2 and plus 17. And the total of those five numbers is 120. So with 120, we can divide that by 7 and find the remainder. And so do that, we'll do it this way, 120 divided by 7, and the answer is 17.14, and a stack of numbers to the right, but we're only interested in the whole number, which is a 17. And then we multiply that, put 17 over there separately, multiply the 17 by 7, and that gives you 119. And find the difference, 120 minus 119. And hopefully you can do that one on your head. And that is one. So there we go, the first day of the week. We know from our from uh, this trusty table that the first day of the week is always a Sunday. So there we go, the 25th of December. Two one, uh, 2168 will be a Sunday. And one thing to note, I guess, about the table is that if you come up with a remainder of zero, then that's going to be the Saturday. So one through to one through to six is Sunday through Friday, and zero is the Saturday. So there we go. That's a uh, simple formula where you can calculate uh, the day of the week that Christmas Day will fall on in any year. There we go. Hope you've uh, enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.